Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about no code automation or low code automation versus Selenium. So first we will see what is no code automation and then what kind of tool we are going to compare with Selenium, we will see, okay? So what is no code automation first? So no code automation refers to the process of automating tasks and processes using tools and platforms that do not require programming or coding skills. So this is what blue color highlighted. Do not require programming or coding skills to test your application to write your automation scripts or any other tasks or processes. So that is called no code automation means in simple terms to automate your process, you don't need programming skills. No code automation tools are designed to be user friendly and easy to use and often provide a visual interface that allows users to create and configure automation rules and workflow using drag and drop or point and click actions. Means when you go with no code automation tools, they will provide user friendly interface with the help of that you can simply automate your tasks. Okay, so this is high level of what is no code automation. So what tool you are going to discuss as part of this video. So that is test sigma. So test sigma is one of the no code automation tools and it is very easy to use and we have very rich options are available. Okay, so then we will compare with this test sigma with selenium. So here I have taken one table, the feature which you are going to discuss and comparing with selenium and test sigma. Okay, so the first point is initial time and cost. Okay, so when you talk about initial time and cost in selenium, it is huge. The reason is you need to identify the resource you need to take that resource and he has to understand your application and he has to start building your automation scripts or frameworks, whatever it is. So initially it will take so much of time and cost. But when you go to Test Sigma, you just take the subs subscription and log into the Test Sigma and everything is out of the box, it is available. Right, A very simple, you just go to the documentation or go to the tool once and you can start using Test Sigma. So that's how initial time and cost will be reduced. So development speed. When you talk about development speed, there are multiple factors. So first, you need to develop your automation framework in Selenium, right? So whether it is Java, Python, C Sharp, JavaScript, whatever it is, first you need to build a framework. For that, you need to understand the application and you should have a skills to what? What kind of framework? you need to take, okay? So you should have all this idea. And then only you can develop your automation scripts. So because of that, here you need to write programming all these things, right? So development speed will be slow. When you're coming to the test sigma, everything is out of the box. Uh, and in test sigma, you will write the test cases in plain English. So that's how it is very fast. You just need to understand what kind of uh, the plain English so what you say, like set of rules are there, rules are, you know, syntax, then it is easy to, you just start writing your automation scripts. I'll show you how it will be in the end of the slide. When you talk about execution cost, so if you are executing your local machine, it might be same in Selenium and Test Sigma, but when you talk about in the cloud or if you want to do parallel testing, all these things, it is very high. So you need to depend upon some third party cloud-based tools and then you need to take the subscription and you need to integrate to that and then you can execute there. So, but in Test Sigma, out of the box, you will get Test Sigma Cloud. There you can configure how you want to execute. Then you can easily execute your test cases. That's how when you compare the cost, it will be very less in Test Sigma. The maintenance. So once you have created framework and now you have started writing the test scripts, but after some time, if you have any changes in your application, if you want to change something in your Selenium code, so it will be it will be a bit difficult and high. But when you come to the test sigma, it is very easy. Okay, everything is in plain English. A anybody can look into the test script and easily fix. Okay, so consistency. <laughs> Here consistency means while you're writing the code in Selenium. Okay, so you will you will have a multiple resources multiple resources will have 
different programming skills levels so one might be a low level of programming so one might be middle one one might be have a high level of programming skills while they're writing the programming there might not be a consistency one one will write like efficient code one will write a very normal code all right so and one resource has started writing your scripts and in middle they resigned or no they moved to another project somebody came into your project while writing that person may be different type of standards but when you come to the test sigma so everybody has to write the same code that is already predefined right if you have a 10 years experience if you have no zero years experience you need to write the same kind of syntax and code so consistency will be very high means it's almost same for each and every resource okay so everybody can understand the test sigma code review of test scripts so as here you are writing your code so definitely management will think about reviewing your test code or test scripts by other experienced person so there it will kill your time it requires some time but when you come to the test sigma we just discuss everything is predefined plain english so every everybody will write the same type of syntax so there is no need to review okay you you already have the consistency so one of the best options is nowadays auto heal so auto healing means if you have any changes in your application so your css or export changes so the test script should not fail but coming to the selenium you do not have that option but if you come to the test sigma it is by default you have that option so if you have any changes in your application so there is very less chance of failing your scripts so that is how the maintenance is high in selenium and low in test sigma when you talk about return of return on investment the roi so it is very low the reason is initially you need to spend some time to develop your framework and writing the scripts will take some time so when you use these scripts so it will take some time to use these scripts but in test sigma so you can quickly start writing the pro, uh, that your automation scripts so that's how you will get the return on investment very high and quickly okay so some other things reports so if you want to see the reports in selenium out of the box you do not have any reporting feature so you need to depend upon th some third party apis like what do you say like extend reports or test ng reports all these things but in test sigma by default you will get the reporting feature okay and you are scheduling test scripts if you want to execute your scripts in daily basis or weekly basis or you want to execute in a specific time so in selenium you do not have that options for that you need to depends upon some third party tools like jenkins all these things in that you need to schedule but in test sigma you have out of the box feature you can directly uh, schedule your test scripts in test sigma uh, visual testing okay sometimes you want to verify some logos or some pictures so should not change okay you want to do some visual testing on those so in selenium i cannot say it is not possible but you need to write your own logic with whether it is java python c sharp according to your programming you need to write some logic but in test sigma it is very simple one check box okay for a particular element if you want to do visual testing you just enable one check box that visual testing that's it it will take care of that that's simple it is means with the help of test sigma you can achieve visual testing very easily so we will see one example in our upcoming videos so test data management this is also one of the tds jobs in automation so in selenium it is very complex like uh, you need to manage the, your test data with excel sheets or csv files xml json whatever it is and you need to write a separate logic to bring that information into your automation framework but when you talk about test sigma out of the box you will have all these options you just create in test sigma itself you just use use this test uh, what is a like test data for your test script okay for your test case that's uh, no that much easy it is so that also we will discuss in our upcoming videos so when you talk about resources all these things we already discussing for selenium you need skilled 
resources like they should have a programming skills okay but for test sigma you don't need any programming skills so even though if you are not from qa also if you just go through the documentation you can start writing that test sigma scripts that much uh, flexible and easy it is okay so framework complexities that we already discussed like the level of you know standards they'll follow consistency across the you know coding all these things will lead to framework complexities but in test sigma you you will not writing any code for developing your framework everything is out of the box available you just follow the uh, what you say like uh, how they instructed you need to write test cases in this tab you need to write test plans in this tab so you need to write uh, you know uh, your test data maintenance here all these things are already predefined you just follow those things okay because of that you do not feel any complexities in your framework and continuous integration so you to achieve this in selenium you need to integrate with some third party tools here in test sigma it is inbuilt option and when you talk about support so if you stuck somewhere okay while writing your automation scripts you stuck somewhere so in selenium you need to depends upon forums like you know stack overflow or some selenium forums facebook groups or youtube in google whatever it is but in test sigma 24 by 7 they will support you you can directly reach to them like uh, this is your problem and they can provide you the solution okay so these are all the uh, some differences when you talk about you know selenium with uh, test sigma not only with test sigma like any no code or low code automation uh, okay so the main points which i discussed okay so and coming to the test sigma how easy it is okay how the test scripts looks like okay we'll take uh, let's we'll see well, we'll see one example okay so if you want to navigate to your application you see just navigate to you just mention the url where you want to go this navigate to is already predefined you don't need to write any logic for this is it click on some button element so just provide the login icon or login button whatever it is you see that if you want to type something into the username text box enter admin in the username field enter this 1 2 3 4 5 in the password field click on login but that's it this is how you can write your test sigma scripts that easy it is okay so we will see some examples some features in our upcoming videos so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video and share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you